My name is Bob. We're up at the mine site right now. Uh, what we have is, is a vibrating grizzly up on top up here. Of course, it, it, it sends the oversize off on the oversize. And then the underflow from the grizzly goes in and goes to a trommel. The, the trommel's on the inside of this barrel. It's about 20 inches in diameter or so. It actually classifies, puts the product out, the spring product, out the back. And then the reverse helix of this outer barrel augers it back up as a primary concentrate for us. Where that primary concentrate comes out is at the front. It comes around, comes into this tube. This tube spins and it classifies again. What happens is the minus quarter inch then comes down, goes to the sluice box. I chose to use the, the Dream Mat. It's a dredge mat made by Dream Mat. And I use it because I want to hold the gold and I want to pass the black sands on. Mat works well for that, plus for the oversized material unclassified, it works well too. So the material comes down, goes across, goes into the jig. The jig then pulls the black sands for us, and we're able to retain the black sands. The tails goes to the sand screw. The sand screw augers our tails product up over here. We can take that out and put that back into reclamation right away. The overflow from the sand screw or the water goes out to what we call a J hook. And it goes out there, it settles the silts. The silts then uh, seal. We pick up the clarity on, on the top of it and send it back to our pond. The pump there then sends it back up to us so we can use it as just a closed circuit unit. It, and it's very simple and it works quite well. So what advantages, again let's just touch one more time since I'm here about the Dream Mat. Do you see with the Dream Mat, I noticed that we were running shale over this. A lot of shale in this that comes out. Yeah the, the shale itself because of the type of classification here where, where it's long instead of a, the aperture, aperture being square, what happens is we get slivers. And the dredge mat has got ramps that's aggressive enough that it moves it right on down. About the time you think you want to pick up one to get it off there, it's moving. So it's a, it's a good profile for what we're doing where we've got some mixed tender settling. It moves our, our heavy media out. And, and the stuff that where we've got slivers and stuff, it does move it on. Uh, and it, it's pretty, um, it does hold the gold for it. So I noticed yesterday we ran for about, you said you got about seven hours of running yesterday, maybe, maybe seven. And I noticed when you did the cleanup yesterday, you just took out of the top mat. You didn't even go take the uh, material out of the bottom mat. Why is that? Well, I either don't have enough gold to load it totally, or it's doing a pretty good job. Uh, really, most of the time we find the gold all up in the six to eight inch range, and because we six inch or eight inches at the top of the mat. Right. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And and we'll find a piece, uh, some finds every once in a while down, but we we're constantly panning our our, our rejects coming off, mm -hmm. and we see it's a very 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 fine fine gold that's coming off. Yeah, and it's because you, you're only pulling about, what do you think, per ton of gold. So what you're saying is you don't have so much gold that it's loading up both mats. Oh, I, yeah. If you loaded up these mats, you're holding a lot of gold. Yep. Uh, these mm -hmm. mats hold a tremendous amount of gold. And, and uh, yeah, I would love to be able to load this one and, and start getting to that one. Uh, right now, by running six, eight hours a day, and we're running 60 to 75 yards an hour. And... Uh, the mat, the mats are are doing a job for us. We're, I'm very pleased with. So that. what 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 do you think you're pulling per ton in the average in the gold out of your material at the moment? I know yeah highs and lows because the material changes, but what are you kind of seeing? Yeah. Uh, well, we we go from a an O2 to an O4. Okay. Yep. Just try to you know because it's just some places pull a lot and some places you got to run a lot of material and we're, it's we're in a we're in a 
an old hydraulic face and and it's it's virgin ground but it's uh we've got some big cobble in it and stuff and so on one end of it we're seeing some old fours and on the other end where bedrock is coming up uh it's a little finer golden and it and it also drops because it's higher up the 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 bowl in there uh but it's all it's good gold and one of the things i was noticing yesterday we we were checking the 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 jigs and we were panning out the black material in the jigs and we weren't seeing a lot of gold in there so what i'm with of course being just me is saying that we're getting some good primary recovery because if you had like what was uh, a different setup in there we would maybe that wasn't the recovery wasn't so good we'd see a lot more gold in the, the sands well i'd like to say i'm good but i can't say that all i can say is that the tools that we use are working for this application all right super well. yeah that's great so. Well, thanks, Bob. Thanks for sharing with us your, your your undisclosed little location here and then hanging out and having fun and, and doing a little mining with the Dream Map. All right. Well, thank you. You have a good day.